What's up everybody, I'm Shelly and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my delicious homemade fried chicken wings. This recipe makes about 16 individual pieces of chicken, enough to serve between two to four people. Not only is this recipe perfect for parties, but it is absolutely delicious. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Here is all what you will need to make your fried chicken wings. And we're gonna get started with our ingredients. You will need two pounds of chicken wingette and chicken drumette wing portions. And along with that, you will need some all-purpose flour, eggs, and some canola oil. For your seasonings, you will need some salt, Tony Saturation Creole Seasoning. Now, if you don't have this, you can use the Zatarain's Creole Seasoning or the Slappy Mama Creole Seasoning. You will also need some Chef Paul Pudon's Portrait Magic, cayenne pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and some dry thyme. And there we have it. Let's get straight to it. Add your chicken wingette and chicken drumette portions into a strainer and rinse them off with cold water. We've transferred our chicken into a large bowl. Let's add some seasoning. Sprinkle 1 4 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning, 1 teaspoon of Chef Paul Perdon's Portrait Magic, 1 teaspoon of onion powder, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and 1 teaspoon of dry thyme. Using your hands, coat the seasonings onto the chicken. Place this into your refrigerator and let this marinate for one hour or overnight. Here we have three large eggs into a medium sized bowl. Add 1 4 teaspoon of salt and 1 4 teaspoon of Tony Chachere's Creole seasoning. Whisk the eggs together. Now by the eggs not having any salt in them at all, we want to add just a little bit of seasoning and this will help with the flavoring of our chicken as well. It's important that we add seasoning to everything, okay? For the batter, add three cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of salt, one tablespoon of Tony Chachere's Creole seasoning, two teaspoons of Chef Hall Perdon's Porchy Magic, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, and two teaspoons of dry thyme. Give this a quick stir. Now this does seem like a lot of seasoning, but I can guarantee you it will not make your chicken taste salty at all. Just the right amount of seasoning can make all the difference. Okay, we finished with the preparation of our ingredients. Here we have our chicken, which we've seasoned and marinated. Here we have our eggs, which we've added a little hint of seasoning to it. And here we have our all-purpose flour batter, which we're going to be adding our chicken into. Preheat your fire to medium-high heat. In a medium-sized pot, add 48 fluid ounces of canola oil. Let the oil get hot for 12 minutes. Now, if you're using a deep fryer, preheat it to 350 degrees and let this heat up for about 12 to 15 minutes. Now you want to make sure that you have a serving dish lined with napkins because we're going to place the chicken on this once it's fried. Now we're going to get started with frying of our chicken. We're going to take some pieces of chicken, add it into our egg mixture, and coat the chicken with the egg mixture. We're going to remove the chicken out of the egg mixture and place it into our seasoned all-purpose flour batter. Cover with lid. Shake the bowl to coat the chicken with the seasoned all-purpose flour batter. And this is how it looks when we're done. Nice and coated. Now we're going to take the chicken and add it into the hot oil. We're going to let this fry for about 10 to 12 minutes. Now, 
frying times vary depending on the size of the chicken. Now since we're using chicken wingettes and chicken drumettes, it shouldn't take no more than 10 to 12 minutes to fry. It's been about 5 minutes now and as you can see the chicken is starting to float at the surface of the oil. That lets us know that our chicken is almost done. Now, we're not finished frying the chicken yet. We have to let it fry a little bit more. So you're going to let this fry for an additional 5 to 7 minutes. Now I want to let you know again that frying times vary, okay? It's been about 5 to 7 minutes now and our chicken is now done. Now we're going to move the chicken out of the oil and place it onto our serving dish lined with napkin. Let the chicken cool for about 5 minutes before serving. Just want to give you a demonstration. This is how the inside of the chicken looks when it's done. As you can see that is thoroughly cooked. Here is the final presentation. And there we have it. Homemade fried chicken wings. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified of my videos. You can also check out this recipe along with all of my other recipes as well as contact me or donate to the channel. Visit www.charliecookandrews.com You can also like, follow, or contact me on Facebook and on Instagram under the name Charlie the Cook Andrews. Stay tuned as Charlie's Taste Test is coming up next. Ah, now it's time for Charlie's Taste Test. Love fried chicken. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Man, the chicken is tender, juicy, well seasoned, absolutely delicious. Mm. Finger looking good. Oh man, it's so good. I'm telling y'all, try the recipe. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. So until next time, take care and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.